afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, I don't even know what day it is, your Thursday afternoon Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday to show you a fun new project. So, I today is my last day of working, and then I'm off until next week. I am so stinking excited. I literally have been going nuts with making all of the pillow gifts for the retreat, and I'm down to my last three. So, hopefully I can crank those out this weekend and be ready and prepared for my arrival on Monday. I usually don't expedite shipping, but I really wanted that trucking along set, so I expedited it, and it will be here on Monday. I just got the tracking information, so cross your fingers. I will be able to start playing with that on Monday. Um, today was the day that they launched um, the new uh, online exclusives. The clearance rack has been updated. If you haven't looked at the clearance rack, some amazing things, super inexpensive. The Splendid Day Designer Series paper is $2.25. The soft seafoam ribbon that I've been using a lot of is literally, I think, $1.25. So definitely go on and check the clearance rack out. It is phenomenal. So hopefully you guys are having a good day. Um, I got up and actually I stayed up till almost midnight last night placing my order because yesterday was the first, well, today at mid, last night at midnight, 11, whoo. Midnight Salt Lake City time. So um, I did sleep in a little bit and started prepping and preparing for a retreat and came out to do my live. So today's card, super duper easy and super duper cute. And my anniversary is actually on Tuesday. So I made it in a little bit more of a masculine um, so I could give it to my husband for our anniversary. Okay. Let's point you over, and I apologize, I did not uh, put a little disclaimer on my Facebook to say I was going live early today. Um, I was literally just so crazy with my morning and my time that I totally spaced it. Um, so I, you guys can definitely watch the replay if you're not able to watch live. But this is the set I am going to be playing with, um, gorgeously made. I think, any of these three sentiments would be beautiful in it. And I think I might pull in one of these little stamps just as a little bling on the card as well. So this is the designer series paper. If you haven't played with it, oh my gosh, you are definitely missing out. It is so bright, so beautiful, and just put a smile on anybody's face. And that's what I try to do in life is put smiles on everybody's face. So that's the designer series paper. Let me bring in the card that I created. This one is actually for my husband, so we're not doing um, the Gone Fishing designer series paper. He's not a fisherman, he actually hates fishing. So I used the opposite side of the designer series paper just to have it a little bit more masculine. And you're gonna pull out the little inserts, and voila. There is really not much adhesive um, just to put the bow on the front of it and glue the designer series paper down and I went very little on stamping and Because it's from my anniversary. I might put another piece of our very vanilla on the back of it depending on how much I want to write to him So that's the card we're going to be making and on the designer series paper pack. Good afternoon Heather on the back of the designer series paper pack it always gives you the color, the cardstock color that is in the designer series paper. So I was venturing towards using the Fresh Freesia because that is in there, but then I got thinking, I don't have any current Fresh Freesia ribbon. I do have some that um, had retired a few weeks ago, but then I got thinking the Bumble or Bubble Bath designers or the Bubble Bath cardstock literally matches it pretty close as well. So let me bring in the bubble bath and the designer series paper. I really think that this will work together. And then I could bring in this gorgeous bubble bath ribbon. It is um, this year ribbon combo pack. You get three different colors, bubble bath, lemon lolly, and azure afternoon. So you get all three of them in the pack. 
And I won't lie when I tell you this, I tied 160 bows using these colors. So um, you can definitely tell this is one of my favorite ribbons so far. So I wanted to bring in a specific ribbon I had. So I'm gonna pull in a little bit different of a color, but I think it's going to be fine. And we are going to score and cut this together. But I did forget my cutter, so I'm going to have to run into my craft room. I know exactly where it's at. Of course, it's all the way to the back of my studio. It can't be super close. So sorry about that. When you think you're prepared, you're sometimes not. Okay, so this is a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and I am going to put it up at the 11-inch mark. So we're going to score this twice. We're going to score this at five and a half, and we're going to score this at nine and a half. So those are your only two score marks. I'm going to set this aside, bring in my trimmer, and I have a piece of ribbon tied to the top of my trimmer just so I can hang it. My hook isn't wide enough to hang it through the spot that you're supposed to, so that's why the ribbon's on the top of it. So I'm going to bring in my cardstock. I'm going to slide this over to the four and a quarter inch, and I'm just going to slice that in half. So now I have two card bases, cut and scored, and I really only had to do the one step. So let's start with this piece. So we're going to take that nine and a half inch layer and we're going to fold that up, give that a good crease, and then right in the halfway mark, we're going to roll this up, give that a good crease. So that is your card mechanism. Super easy, right? So I did um, pre-cut the designer series paper and cardstock, so I'll go over those measurements. This one is pretty peacock and it is four by five and a quarter. This is our basic white, that is three and three fourths by five. Those are going to get layered, but we're going to do a little bit of stamping on that. And then I have two pieces of designer series paper. This one is four by three and three fourths, and this is one and a quarter by four. So that's all we're going to need. So let's go ahead and start, <clears throat> excuse me, start by gluing this piece down. Good afternoon, Valerie. Thanks for joining. Oh, there's a booger on the end of my glue. Let's put that in the trash so it doesn't get stuck to the floor. And it's still not coming out. So we are gonna grab my handy dandy needle. Try not to stab yourself. Put that back up. And now we are in the game. Ooh, be careful. It's gonna come out fast. Okay, so because there's a big glob in the center, I am going to lay this down, grab my bone folder. I don't want to pull towards me because the glue is right here. I want to push it into the center. So I'm going to use my bone folder just to make sure I don't get glue eking out the edges. Usually you can just lay it down, but I should have known when it's clogged, not to squeeze it so hard. There we go. And then this little flap, this is gonna go right on the top. So gently squeeze. Um, I don't know if it matters. I'm gonna lay that right in the center. There we go. And we are gonna Take some mini glue dots, put one on the ends, and I always do my seam in the on the front of the card. I know it sounds wonky, but our bow is going to cover it. So I'm going to put that in the center. I'm going to wrap this around, and I don't want to tie this, pull this super tight. Um, I want to give it a little bit of leeway so our card is going to fit in. 
So I, let me grab my take your pick tool. I'm gonna to pick up another glue dot. Good afternoon, Darlene. Put that in the center. So when I just gently lay this over, then I'll know where to cut this. There we go. And you could definitely put, um, actually that probably needs a little smidgen tighter. Let's try to peel that off. I still don't have any fingernails and it's driving me crazy. There we go. That should be better. And then you're gonna grab your bow. And we're going to go ahead and glue our bow on. And it covers up that seam. So let's do a little bit of stamping. I did bring in my very first ink. And I think I want to use that guy just to kind of give it a little bit of texture for the dads. So let me run and grab a walk because I only brought one for the sentiment. And right before I went live is when I realized I wanted to do something a little bit different. So we're gonna grab our whites. Remember there's always two sides to your basic white. So if you make a mistake, it's not tragic. And I wanna actually stamp this over it because I don't want the whole image on here. I just want half. There we go. And we're gonna cover that up so nobody will even know that we did that. The sentiment, I am gonna to wait to do the sentiments. Hopefully I don't mess up and get a halo, but I wanna show you why. So I'm gonna lay that right on top. Perfect. Let's grab our card. Let's slide this on the inside. So I wanna just make sure that I get my sentiment centered. So that's why I wanted it to be in the card before I do it. And I think I wanna do thank you. Let me get this on my block a little bit better. And I have a piece of scratch paper. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm not gonna get a halo. Perfect. And then drum roll, please. There we go. Super cute and definitely a little bit different, but it's a fun little fold. And you could change up the colors to have a little bit more of the bubble bath in there as well. But I thought it was something fun and different. So there's that, let's quickly put our last card together and then I will let you guys have your afternoon. Good afternoon, Rhonda, welcome. Fold this in half, like flip that one backwards. So it's a super quick and easy card, but it is definitely a wow card. line this up and you could cut your uh, designer series paper down a little bit because you're not going to see this so you could really just have it right here but for simplicity reasons I just cut it the normal this is going to get glued to the center there we go let's grab some mini glue dots. And you'll probably have to watch me tie this next bow. There happened to be a bow on my Facebook Live table in the same color I was using, so I snatched it up. But considering I just tied 160 of these bows, I think I can tie another one. Okay, so kind of make sure this is even. Wrap this over, and this is what's holding your card closed. There we go. We're gonna tie a quick little bow. So I do one super tiny, and then this one is going to be longer. And I always tie it on the spool, just so I don't waste ribbon. So I do two bunny ears, 
and then I kind of just pull it till I get the size I want. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of an angle and then I can cut that side off. So that's all the waste that I have when I do it that way. Perfect. And I think I want to stamp that again because I really liked the way that looked on the inside. Maybe I'll do that to my husband's card too. Maybe not the flowers or the leaf. And then I don't have to write so much. Then I wouldn't have to put the other piece on the back. Just kidding. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I said that in the beginning. I'll show you the card that I made my husband. It's the same design. I just use more masculine designer series paper. Slide this in. Line it up. And we're going to do thank you again. There we go. And you could definitely put some rhinestones on here if you wanted to. I actually have some sitting beside me, so let's just sprinkle some on. Let's do one on each side. And let's just do one right there. So there you go. That is your super fun design for today. So here are the two. Yes. Good idea, make all of these at the retreat. They're super easy and super duplicatable. So this is the one that I made for my husband. Our anniversary is on Tuesday, so this is the card I'll be giving him. And these are the two that I made for you guys tonight. So, or this afternoon. So hopefully you guys liked it. Thank you again for joining me. And since Tuesday is my anniversary, I'm pretty sure my husband's not gonna mind me doing my Tuesday evening live, but we will see how our day goes. And I might have to cancel it, cross your fingers that I don't, but I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully you have a great weekend and definitely check out all of the amazing sales that Stampin' Up! is doing. I did send an email last night with all the links and everything, but there's some amazing sales out there right now. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out and I will see everybody next week and for the retreat. It is almost here. Okay, have a great one. Bye-bye.